Can't be too prepared.
These are something special. Aloy, you're very close now. I was wondering when you'd speak up. There's a sheer rock wall just ahead. Look close, and you'll find handholds leading up. Oh, really? And who put those there, hmm? Right. Why would I expect an answer? It's so much more exciting to keep it all a mystery. Crash the Eclipse Focus Network, he said. So how are we gonna do that? Oh, wait. I forgot. We won't. I do all dangerous stuff. You just listen in. There are the handholds, right where you'd said they'd be. Did you get that silence? No? Fitting name you got there. All right, what now? You wait, that's what. Take a seat at the campfire and rest. What night falls, we'll talk. At least I'll have a fire to keep me company. Nice of you to finally drop by. Our purpose this night is to crash the focus network. Yeah, tell me the part I don't know. How? For starters, you'll need to infiltrate the Eclipse's main base. Wait, what? That's right. Fortunately for you, I brought you around to the back way. It's right through that crevice. Once you reach the base, you'll see the objective. A derelict tall neck that's been extensively modified climb the tall neck grafted into the top of its disc you'll find a module of sorts destroy that and the focus network will crash so you were part of the eclipse i've never been part of anything i serve my own interests always but it is the case that i assisted the eclipse before I sensed the threat they might become. It was a mistake that I'm doing what I can to correct. What sort of assistance did you give them? Head through that crevice, Aloy. You have more important things to do than ask questions.
gonna be tight. Corrupted machines. Control guards. More like soldiers. Held in reserve for war yet to come. You have to get past them. This is the easy way in? The back way in. I didn't say it'd be easy. Getting this? I see the legs of a Tallneck down there, but no Tallneck. Damn. The transmitter's been moved. Check down the ravine to the left. The only place it could be. <sighs> so much for your insider knowledge. Toward the explosions. Great. You got exactly one shot at this Aloy, so spare the sarcasm and make it count. You see that bridge over the ravine? Yep. Memorize its location. There's a rappel point on the side. That'll be your way out. And these Eclipse troopers? Avoid them, or kill them, your choice. The blasting should cover any noise you make. Find the tall neck and destroy the module on top. Here we go. All that grime. I want to fight for the shadow, not play in the dirt. Anyone take a look at this corpse?
Alert. Irregular transmission source near. Shelter. It's bigger than the others. Find the tall neck, Aloy. There's no time to poke around. There is if I need time. Disappeared. Is there fighting up ahead? No. It's a mining operation. So long as you're quick, it won't affect you. Oh good, another secret. refuses to come, I think of our wedding night. How you welcome me to the marital bed. How after, when you fell asleep, I lay there watching your delicate face. For all its beauty, I detested its... fragility. A rage swelled up inside me. I abhorred that bed. How its softness threatened to swallow us up. And that room, the stench of incense, the fine embroidery of the drapes, all of it, weak. I slipped from the bed, threw open the casement, and lay naked on the stone floor, determined to spurn all seductions of comfort. But when I woke the next morning, you lay beside me, naked as I in the cold. Your body... Stretched beside mine, seemed chiseled from stone. I saw you wake, instantly alert, like an animal ready to strike. You said nothing. You did not have to. Already you had shown me beyond doubt that we were meant to be. Never does the sun show pity. And yet... When my wife died in birthing, and in dying into the life of my child unborn, I pitied myself. My lord sensed this, but instead of casting me down for weakness, he cast upon me a radiant beam of honor. He ordered my kin buried in the sacred caves reserved for royals and heroes. Unimaginable. Never again would I doubt that I am the Chosen of the Sun. Never again would pity find a place in me. Not for myself, or another. When I first set eyes on the buried shadow, I trembled. Was I not the Chosen of the Sun? A blazing light of faith to shred and scatter darkness? Was it not my place to destroy this devil? But High Priest Bahavas instructed me in the prophecy, and set right my frame of mind. The murder of the true Sun King broke the cosmic cycle short of completion. The whole world cast into darkness, doomed. To resume and turn the Wheel of Time would require more than sun and faith. 
All forces must combine. All halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, night to day. Even a buried shadow wants the wheel to turn. For without a sun in the sky, there can be no shadow. The mural of Meridian. Inspire. My lord, the 13th king of the Karja Sundom was murdered. Cut down by cowards who mistook firm rule for madness. Ever the strong are beset upon by the weak. So he said. As the traitors launch their assault, as their cannons forged by Osaram filth topple the battlements and burst the gates, I would have fought to the end. But it was his will, the will of the sun, that I lead the prince and queen into the west, to safety. My lord did not hesitate. He saw his fate. He looked into the sun, and he did not blink. With me, he sent kestrels, nobles, sun priests, and slaves. Killing all that stood in the way, I carved a path to Sunfall. There, we joined others to gather the strength to take back our home. But our strength only faded until the buried shadow was brought to light. This armor. There's only one. Healers. This is his shelter. Not exactly fancy. Language is expected of a fanatic. His only extravagance is his brutality. So you know him. Just enough to want to stop him. So long as King Itaman languishes at Sunfall, coddled by his mother, he will never learn the true lessons of the sun. I have tried to instruct him, but the shadow of his mother's influence is upon him. I took him to the palace balcony to behold an offering of sacrifice in the ring, but he showed no thirst for it. He averted his gaze. Look to the sun, I told him. Do not shield your eyes. In all things, it is absolute. One day, it nurtures life, and the next, scorches life away. It burns the skin of champions and wretches alike. Never does the sun show pity. That is the example a sun king must follow. The example of your father. But before my instruction could take hold, she was there. Clutching him to her robes, burying his face against her breast. How is a king to rule when he cannot even see? Every morning, I wake to the same nightmare, the same reality. Holy Meridian, in the hands of profligates, debased. The spire, towering above the horizon like an glittering spike through the center of my mind. Every daybreak in exile is a mark of failure, but the count of days runs thin. I will see Meridian retaken, the profligates slaughtered, a true king restored to the Mesa throne. In this, I have become an instrument of prophecy. He's a fanatic, all right. Single-minded. It gives him a focus that you seem to lack. Now, how about finding that tall neck? Well, it's easy to drag a tall neck down this path. Why bother? Just find it and get to the top. Destroy the module, and then get out fast as you can. Sure is a lot of blasting up there. Sounds busy. Busy enough not to notice you, let's hope. I see it. Climate. The sooner this is done, the better. I don't like this. It feels 
Wrong. Everything here is wrong. Just get to the module and destroy it. Open the module's casing, now. Aloy, do as I say or all is lost. Rough going, but you survived. 
You knew Hades was there and you sent me to him? I won't deny I risked your life, but it was the only way. Now, with the focus network down, we can both get what we want. Access to the secrets of Zero Dawn. I'm past trusting you with secrets. Good. That means you're wising up. Trust is for fools. It shifts and crumbles like sand. A poor foundation for any partnership. But mutual self-interest. Now that is a solid bedrock upon which you and I might build a new science of understanding. We both need answers, Aloy. And thanks to you, we're on the verge of grasping them. It's unfold. We'll speak again. You miserable... Damn him. If I could toss this focus and be rid of you, Silence, I would. But we both know I need it. Sunfall it is. And Zero Dawn. Stocking up. Just go about your business.
That was worth it. I want you to have this. It's nothing compared to my life, but thank you. Look out below! Won't find better ride. You'll like what I have for sale. I promise. My brother shift today. Sure as the sun's rising, he's off court in that Only noble. the finest goods here. See for yourself. Uh, no, no, I'm awake and alert. Before you're on the road. Uh, damn it! <clears throat> Don't pass up these I'll goods. I'll support a carja merchant over an Asadan any day. You'll regret not stopping when you're in the thick of it. You'll we'll find better wares when you're in the thick of it. Is that really all you have? It won't do at all. Won't cost you a shard just to look. I barely turn a profit even in the best of times, especially since I usually hand out what I can to those in need. Would you care for some fruit? Better enjoy it before someone runs off with the rest of it. Has someone been stealing from you? Yes, almost every night. Not enough to force me to close shop, but definitely enough to hurt. Have you found any sign of the thief? Just a couple of old rinds near the storehouse. Not much to go on. Why haven't the guards looked into it? The guards blame the wildlife, but I doubt they believe it. I guess they have more to worry about than a woman and her livelihood. Is there anyone you suspect? I've known most people here since childhood. None of them strike me as a food thief. You want to talk about other vices, however? I know how to track. I could look for the thief. Really? Thank you. You could start in my storehouse by the river. Someone must be desperate to steal rather than just ask me. I'll see what I can find. Will conveniently lose all in transport to me. Won't cost you a shard just to look. Shift it, eh? Sure as the sun's rising, he's on courting that noble girl. Don't Check out these wares before you're on the road. I've got all the best goods here. My mother told me to steer clear of Outlanders, but you seem friendly. Buy what you need. Hope the day brings you glad. 
The ceasefire has to be a trick. The Karja and Shadow will break it when it suits. This barrel's been moved recently. Love at the north. There we go. Tracks. The Sun King's grown too soft. Too much Basaram influence at the palace. What's he thinking, letting Durval live? Come take a look. I'll give you a good price. Spoiled fruit. The rabbits seem to like it, though. Oh, look. The thief dropped more fruit for me to follow. If I can see it in all this grass. Is this the last of the fruit? Okay, Boars, out of the way so I can have a look. Trail of footprints this time. Must have climbed up. <laughs> oh, the son, forgive me, forgive me. There's our thief, and he's in trouble.
Need them soon enough. Thank you, Savage. You saved me from the sun's judgment. I did what now? I left the misery of Sunfall not long ago, knowing that I'd never be welcome back in Meridian. So I've been stealing food from a woman at Bright Market just to survive. But the Glint Hawks must be the judgment of the sun. You believe it attacked you because you were stealing? Why else? What if I beg forgiveness from the lady? Will that absolve me and save me from the Glinthawks? I took care of the Glinthawks, but yes, you should return and apologize. The woman you stole from is kind. She'll forgive you. The sun has spoken! Thank you again, Savage. May the sun light your way! <sighs> Great. People finally stopped calling me outcast, and now it's Savage. on piles of scrap taken from the old war. I've got all the best goods here. Could have sworn the other stall was down here. Won't find better wares. Don't look at me now. My duty is to guard. I don't get it. Won't cost you a shard just to look. She was incredible. Stop the ball without breaking. Would you like to buy something today? Thank you for sending Deckerman back to me. I'm training him to run my stall so he can earn his fruit rather than stealing it. I'm glad it worked out. It's all right, Deckerman. We've all lived in shadow, one way or another. I never thought the sun would shine on me again. After all that I did. Won't find better wares. Don't you forget to stock up before you're on the road. Don't pass up Don't these goods. Don't pass up on these goods. 